But the bigger question is, why? Why does God wait? Why does God allow Christians to be butchered all over the world right now in the Muslim countries and the totalitarian countries? I mean, India, five years ago, that sweet little family, that dad taking his kids on a ride, they were missionaries in India, the mob surrounded them, poured gasoline in the car and burned them alive, the whole family. Amazing. Why does God allow that? That's an inexplicable mystery. God seemingly, this is in your note, looks on as our missionaries are slain, our churches are burned to the ground, countless millions of people on earth are oppressed and living in despair, and he doesn't intervene. See, that's the mystery. But the mystery is answered by God. Somewhere beyond the starry skies, a herald angel is standing with a trumpet. And when God's fullness of times. Now, personally, I believe that Paul said that God is waiting for the last one that he wants to be saved in the church before he takes the church out and returns to working with Israel. Remember, during the tribulation, Israel, Jews, become the evangelists. That's chapter 7. We're going to get there tomorrow. Chapter 7 says that the Jews are going to become evangelists. You're starting to see the preparation for that right now in Israel. In Israel, the Messianic Jews stand by the road with signs saying, repent, turn to Christ. And they're on the evening news all the time. They are fanatics. Messianic Jewish people that come to Christ all become like the Apostle Paul. They are uber zealous. And they will actually stand by the highways and the, the Orthodox people, they'll try and run over them with their cars. Four years ago, a Messianic family, they're Jews, so they love all the Jewish customs, a little uh, Purim, you know, the Esther celebration, they give each other baskets with like candy in it, kind of like Easter eggs and all that, only it's Jewish Purim festival. And an Orthodox Jew came and put a basket of candy on the doorstep of a Messianic Christian family. And the little, before the parents could say anything, the little girl scampered out and opened the basket, and it was rigged with a bomb and blew both of her hands off and disfigured her face. That one event by an Orthodox Jew against a Messianic Christian changed the whole tenor of Israel. Finally, the majority of Israelites said, you cannot treat Christians that way, because it was a child, helpless, I mean, blow her hands off and mangle her for life because you don't agree with what she believes about the Bible? Sounds just like Paul, stoning. And so that became a national debate, and so now they are allowing the Christians to stand by the roads. Did you know right now there's a seminary in Haifa that's training 250 Jewish church planners? Did you know that right now Ashdod, the whole plain where the Philistines used to live, there are more churches being planted there in Israel? People are worshiping, reading the Bible, coming to Christ, following Christ, evangelizing, and the Jews don't know what to do with it. It's just like over again the New Testament era. And it's just bothering them. And the reason we're involved with that is most of these people are from Russia. Over a million Russians came in the 80s to Israel, and they were secular. They were not Jewish. They were just ethnically Jews. They were not religious Jews. So they're very open to the gospel. And the Russian Jews are coming to Christ so fast, and God's going to make them evangelists. But he's not quite ready. And so that's why destruction goes on. Mm -hmm.